Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm back today for another requested reading and the comment is Hope you can read us an update on Fanny Willis Georgia election interference case. Will it continue? Will Fanny Willis still be on the case? Will Trump and his cohorts be held accountable and be in prison? Okay, so let's see. An update on Fanny Willis election interfere case. Will she continue? Let's start with this. Will she be allowed to continue? Will she still be on the case? Show us some details. All right. Okay, so this is her, and these are the outside circumstances. Okay, so let's see, Fanny, Five of Swords, that's good, Four of Wands, ooh, here she's going with the sword, moving forward. Yeah, so uh, from her side, from her cards, I don't see her stopping. She kind of is like wins a battle. She has support. She's moving on. Um, and let's see. Yeah, this is the Trumpist. On this side for Trump and his team. We see here with this nine of wands, stubborn, not giving up, even though they lost. The judge decided that Fanny Willis can stay on the case, but they're appealing um, that decision. And I think that they already set a date for hearing the appeal sometimes in October, in the beginning of October. Something like this. And the appeal will be heard by a panel of three judges, all appointed by GOP governors, and they were randomly selected. So we'll see how that goes. So what I see for now, it's Donald trapped, stuck. He's still not giving up. He still hopes for a victory. Um, Fanny Willis... It's like want this battle she continues and i'm getting this feeling like with this fool and this queen of swords like she's ignoring she's doing her job this is her um being very calculated having a strategy moving forward and in a way ignoring all this um she's focused determined to finish the job um, so I still see her going strong, but let's do again and let's, uh, use the Osho cards and see what can we expect when it comes to the appeal. What can Fanny Willis expect after that hearing? What will those judges decide? Will she keep going on the case? Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is her, 
and these are the outside circumstances so I'll get three of wands the ten of cups change okay and six burden two of cups ace of cups master Mm, not sure I like this for Fanny. Here with the Six of Swords, a burden. It's not going to be easy. I think that these judges are inclined to want to help Trump. Friendliness here. And, uh, the master. He's the master. Uh, it's a bit shaky here with the wheel. Can represent a sudden change. The three of wands. Can I see this as like a many possibilities? Mm, it's not very clear to me. Let me pull some more cards. Will she be able to continue? Uh, yeah, so she got the temperance. So it will be difficult. It is that it does seem that the judges are friendly with Trump and want to do him a favor. But this five of cups here, maybe they won't able be able to pull it through. It's not going to be easy for, for Fanny Willis with the Six of Swords, a burden. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's do another one. Let's use the other deck. Okay. So, let's ask. Will Fanny Willis remain on the case after that um, appeal? Will she continue with the case? So these are her cards. And the Eight of Wands. The Four of Wands. Page of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. I think she... Yeah, I think she'll continue. I think that there are better chances that... She actually continues with the case. This is moving on. Eight of Wands. Pushing through. With this Four of uh, Wands. Like a supportive energy. I think this is her building the case. And fighting. Putting up a fight. Now let's see these others. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Two Nines. The Hierophant and the Death card. Yeah, so it's likely even if these uh, judges, they're fl friendly towards Trump. But I don't think that they uh, will be able to push her off the case. For Trump, we have this Nine of Swords, the Nightmare card. Um, so I see this woman here, she has daggers tattooed on her arm and the symbol is like the tattoo cannot be erased. You cannot erase what happened in the past. 
and you cannot change that you only you can only change how you deal with what happened in the past um and here the scene with the the sheep and her lamb that died she's in anguish but this angel it cannot intervene it symbolizes that what it's done it's done and now this murder of crows that are surrounding the sheep, they're waiting to descend upon the lamb. So this scene, it indicates someone that feels victimized, powerless, and in, in pain and anguish. So that's the, the energy for, for Trump. Severe worry and anxiety can also mean insomnia and nightmares, literally. Not just the thoughts during the day, but also nightmares. Um, and this is the Hierophant, this is the court. Nine of Wands is still trying to, to stay his ground, to protect himself. The Bend himself, but I don't think they'll be able to rule in his favor with the death. This is final. This is something final. So judging from her cards, I don't see her stopped. This is moving on. The Eight of Wands, pushing through. It is tense, yes, it's not going to be easy for her because there are these judges most likely will want to help Trump, but I don't think that they'll be able to for whatever reason. And yeah, so it, it looks promising for, for Fanny Willis. So now let's do one for Trump. What can he expect? Will him and his cohorts be held accountable? What can we expect for Trump? Okay, so these are Trump's cards. Okay, the Hierophants. The Seven of Wands. This this could be the Supreme Court. Again, the Nine of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. He's gonna rely on the Supreme Court. He's planted the seeds already with the Seven of Pentacles, putting his people in the Supreme Court in key positions, and he's relying on this as his advantage, and he does have this advantage. He's still in this energy, nightmare, scared. Now let's see the others. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands, okay, it, it, I think it depends on the victory. The, this is the victory card, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles, I see it as the collective of people of United States, and what they decide. And let's see. The celebration, Three of Cups, yeah, I'm seeing celebrating victory. 
The five of wands. So it is like it all depends on this election. If he wins, he will have the upper hand. He will manage to evade responsibility. So in in a way, it's up to the the public here. It's up to the people what did they decide. So this is the only way that he could get out of this. The cards will, doesn't do not indicate that it will be like this. Oh, he'll have a victory and he'll, he'll get out of it. It indicates a possibility that if he has this victory, then he has the upper hand. He has the Supreme Court here because he planted the seeds and he will reap the benefits later and get out of this nightmare situation. But from what I'm getting from the cards, I think that Fanny Willis will stay in the case. But the, then the danger is if Trump wins or loses. Yeah, so this is what I'm seeing for this question. If he will be held accountable. I think he, he will be held accountable if he doesn't win the election. No, let's ask again, but this time with the regular tarot cards. What are the chances that Trump gets imprisoned? Let's see. What's going on? What can we expect? Okay. So this is Trump. Let's see his card. Six of Cups. Ooh, 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 the tower. Predictions. Yeah, there's a good chance. It's not in a great position. Uh, and two swords. Oh, of course, it depends on here the, the choice of the people. Yeah, like if Kamala wins, because this is the outside circumstances, so this would be either his enemy. Yeah, this is the victory. If Kamala wins, if he doesn't win the election, he's screwed. Nightmares coming true. Yeah, so it, it all depends on this election. But it looks like she has a good chance to, to beat him. But let's not underestimate Trump and his supporters. Let's not underestimate them because things can change and shift. And, you know, <laughs> we had Trump that was almost assassinated not even a month ago. And now everybody forgot about it because Biden stepped down and Kamala is up in the poll. So see like how, how things change and shift just like this. So we shouldn't get too comfortable. And let's not underestimate uh, Trump and his uh, people. It's a tough battle ahead. It's not going to be easy. It depends on this, the choices. It could be like a certain demographic of people that will, will tip the scales. Um, you know, like the independents or stuff like this. Also, the, the Republicans that loathe Trump and would rather vote for the Democrats this time. So it, it's this these people that are kind of like stuck here in between having to make a tough choice. Maybe for some it's easier, for others it's harder. So it, it, it's a tough battle. It's not easy. We have a good chance. Kamala has a good chance to win. And if she does, it's game over for Trump. This is his past misdeeds, everything that he's done in the past. He'll have to deal with that. He'll have to deal with the consequences. Okay, so this is what I could see about 
Trump and Fannie Willis. So to me, it looks good. It looks promising for, for Fannie. And anyways, it looks like she's ignoring all that noise and she's focused on the case. She's doing her job. Uh, she's very determined. And even though like th there might be some difficulty with the appeal, because those might want to favor Trump, but it still looks okay for for Fannie Willis to to remain on the case. But then the big thing is the election. So if Trump wins the election, it's bad for everyone. If he loses and Kamala wins, then game over for him. He'll have to deal with everything that he's done in the past. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.